Hello, how are you doing today? Yeah, today what I'm actually doing is selection of my brush stock. Yeah, it's about time for me to start selecting some of these fish for my brook stock. I'll be grooming them for reproduction and cross breeding purpose. Yeah, I'm gonna be starting my own hatchery very soon where all this reproduction shall take place. This way I know the health, the weight of the breeding fish stock that we will be using for spanning. And I'll also know exactly what I'm getting in my ponds in terms of fries, fingerlings and juveniles. I would also crossbreed the Claris fish with the heterobranchus species, thereby giving me what is known as heteroclaris, and which is also called hybrid catfish. These are resist disease resistant catfish, more than the parent stock. We would therefore be raising heteroclaris, that's the hybrid, in some of the ponds here, and also. Um, we would also raise claris as usual uh, on some of the ponds so meaning i'll be raising both on the same farmland heteroclaris are known for their meat that that is they have more flesh than the pure claris and can grow much bigger than the claris species although they develop much slower than the claris stock while the time frame of raising them can span between, uh, let's just say, seven to eight months, even nine months for a much significant growth size beyond the normal one, one kg size. So you, you, with that, if we can keep it up to that level of month, let's say seven, eight or nine months, you, you're bound to get a higher weight about maybe 1.5, two gram, I mean, two kilograms and above. Meanwhile, with the clarins, I shall be raising them up to four months and sell them on as melange for weights between 300, 400 and 500 grams. I'll sell them on. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you're yet to do so. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can get more updates from me whenever I put up a post out there. Oh yes, let me add this as well. Apart from being disease resistant, these hybrid catfish are also rugged. They consume less feed when compared to Clara's catfish. They are 10 bigger sizes and weigh much higher at harvest. They equally thrive well on a wide range of plant-based protein fish feeds. They do well, they survive much longer after harvest. So some marketers, some fish buyers prefer them to Clara's catfish. And they do taste well as well. That's another good thing to consider when raising them. That's it for now. I do hope I see you in the next video. Meanwhile, don't forget to click on the notification bell. And uh, click on the like button. Thank you. See you later. Bye. This catfish is asking you to subscribe. You can hear it. Can you hear what he's saying? Yes, subscribe.